Hello and welcome to Jarman Manor and today what I'm going to talk about is water butts. So water butts are one of the most important things to have in a uh, basically in the gardening the uh, gardener's arsenal. Um, in, our, in our garden we've got a lot of plants, we've got a lot of plants and they desperately need water quite regularly. At the moment it's, uh, uh, it's kind of just come up to mid-April so we've got quite a bit of rain. Uh, it's quite it's fairly warm but not too warm. But come summertime when you start having those long drawn out weeks without any rain whatsoever and all your plants will be outside soaking up the sun you're going to get a lot of dry soil that's going to cost a lot on the water bill uh, you can easily tank up a lot of money on there especially if you're on a water meter so one of the most ingenious things to do is to simply install a water butt here we have a hundred uh, litre water butt which we actually got from Audi for around about 27 pounds or 28 pounds one of the two is not too not too concerning and what we've done is we've actually attached it to our downpipe on our um, on our garage here it's quite uh, it's quite a simple process to attach to them but there's a few consideration uh, considerations you need to make when putting a water butt on first of them uh, first of all do you have an iron downpipe if you have an iron downpipe uh, it's no point because uh, I'll tell you why, it's I had to saw through this and lucky enough it's made out of plastic so sawing through plastic is a lot easier than it is trying to saw through some iron and also shifting it as well. So if you'd like to come over I'll actually open this up so you can actually have a look inside. Ooh, oh my god. Okay this is actually from around about four days worth of water. So we had a big 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 downpours recently and we've already managed to completely fill up a hundred litre uh, water butt. It's actually a bit bulgy there as well but that's fine because it's a uh, it's a vessel that's fine although it is from Aldi so you never know the actual uh, quality. So if we've got the downpipe just here what I did was I had to source a correct location for it and a correct, uh, correct location would be not too high and definitely not too low. If it's too low and you have to put the pipe upwards to feed into the water butt well you've got a massive issue there because no water is actually going to get in there. What we had to do was actually drill a hole on the side of these for placement obviously you've got pre uh, kind of guide holes here where you need to drill in make a little hole and then you can attach the gland which is actually from your water pipe what we had to do then was saw through here okay the problem about that is is then you have to do a bit of shifting you have to shift up your downpipe or shift down uh, the downpipe uh, and if you fix things are rusted like ours are it makes it a very hard job but lucky enough we managed to do it oh my god that's a Oh, that's a little bee up there. So if you'd like to come nice and close. <laughs> I may like my gardening, but I'm scared to death of them. Ah, there we go. Don't ask why. I'm actually going to come around here. Try and make sure you're uh, soaring straight because my soaring definitely wasn't straight. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, it's just, it was quite inquisitive about what we we're doing. So when you do come to saw it, make sure you actually saw it a bit straight and uh, actually I can pull it out just here. For us what we had to do was actually saw uh, a chunk off just to be able to get this in because it's a bit fiddly. If you've got no room to play bringing that up then it's going to be a bit difficult fitting it on but it will go on. You just have to be a little bit forceful. So if you lift up here and if the camera lady would like to come through. You've actually got kind of a dual catchment method in here where you have the downpipe will come in and then you have kind of like a catchment box which will either divert into the downpipe or it will actually fill up here and come through your downpipe. For overfill etc well that's fine because if it does start to fill up this hole around the side here uh, I kind of drilled it a little bit wrong because I had no drill piece which was uh, big enough to actually drill through there so oops. Uh, so if you overfill it will just start to leak down here. I uh, wasn't expecting to get myself 100 litres within the space of four days but pff, it happened and I'm quite happy about that because uh, you know I'm going to need it. Definitely going to need it. So that's how you pretty much install a, uh, install a, down, uh, sorry, a, a water butt. It's simply chop through your guttering. Make sure you can lift your guttering up. If it's completely and utterly seized you are going to have a few problems there because you're not going to be able to get the movement. As you can see here I've had to loosen it and by loosening it I've actually managed to fit it on. You'll have to squeeze it underneath to pop it back uh, to pop on the little catchment box and just a little downpipe coming through into uh, into the side of your water but it will sit on legs as well because you want to make sure you've actually got move uh, enough play to get a um, to get something like a watering can underneath 
and then you'll have just a little catchment tap that'll nicely uh, nicely fill out alone there's no problem about vacuum a lot of uh, a big issue would be if i was generating a vacuum in here because it's nicely opened aired as well that's pretty much a water button a uh, water button kind of a nutshell it's just make sure that your downpipe is plastic make sure you can actually saw through it and if, if you've got a joint where you could put it that'd be perfect from about the joint up here it's just too high up and that down there will be too low it's one complete set saw through make sure you try and saw it as straight as possible take off a section so you want to have around about i would say about an inch worth of section chopped off just to be able to squeeze that underneath there and bring it back down because the beauty of it is once it's on it's on the pipe connection needs to be higher than higher than the actual water butt but not doesn't have to be too high it could be it could even sit here it will still do the same job as long as this pipe here is all the way down so there's no upward movement and then come back down because if there's upward movement well the water is just going to sit in there and it's all going to back uh, back flow into the downpipe you're not going to get any water very simple job that uh, thanks for watching